Good morning, folks. Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great today. Well, the weekend is coming, gone. Monday is here. It's time to get back on the grind of Monday through Friday or Saturday, whatever your case may be. It's very important to understand that God wants to do something new in your life and exciting and change perhaps some things that you're doing. He wants to move in your life in a great way, and he already has the victory in order for that to happen. Now, listen to me, please. In listening to God's will and directing in your life, your decisions, it's very important to understand a couple of things. When Jesus Christ died on the cross on that very dreadful day when everyone looked at him that he had proclaimed to be the Son of God, of which obviously he was and is, by the way, and as he died there, he was hanging between heaven and earth and no life in him at all. In fact, the Bible says in John chapter 19, verse 30, that he cried out, it is finished, and he gave up the ghost. And there Jesus died. He was dead on the cross. Now his followers looked at that. They saw him. Those probably in the crowd, many of them, them probably he had touched before. He had healed in some way or certainly fed in some way. And there the disciples looking a great way off and there his mother and the other Mary and the other ladies there at the tomb and there, or at the cross rather, and there Jesus is hanging dead. Well, all the things that he had said, all the things that he had done suddenly comes to reality that now the feet cannot walk, the hands cannot touch, the voice is silent in the mouth and there's no way now that we can proceed onward. Well, at the darkest hour in your life is the greatest point of victory. Don't forget that. When you are down to the bottom line and you feel like you cannot go on and sometimes you don't want to go on, you don't desire to go on, you are at the greatest point in your life. God wants to do something new in you. God wants to bless you to the point that your life changes and in the process of that change, God wants to take you from where you are to where you need to be. You see, don't ever underestimate God because he's got some awesome plans for you. And just because today you might be seeing your dreams dead somewhere or your desires dead or your hopes dead as Jesus was hanging dead on the cross, well, that was just the beginning. It was a dark day on that Friday that Jesus died, but I want to tell you Sunday was coming and the victory of the resurrection of our Savior was awesome. In the process of this event, the Bible says on the first day of the week, the women come to the tomb. Now they're bringing spices. They're going to anoint the body of the Lord Jesus, but practically it doesn't make sense. Number one, Jesus is buried in a tomb that has a large rock rolled over in front of the tomb. Now this day and time when the tombs were hewed out of rock, there was a trough in front of it. Large stone was rolled over in front of that tomb and no animals could get in or no one else could get in for that matter. And it would take us a number of men to roll that stone away. So the ladies were going to the tomb presumably with some spices to anoint the body of Jesus because they did not have time to properly anoint his body before burial because the time of the evening was so close to the beginning of Passover. So what happens is that they get there and the tomb is open. Now we know the story very well. Matthew records it, Mark records it, John records it, Luke records it. We're, we're, we've told, we're told the story. They get there, they're looking, listen, with what they bring, the purpose in which they come, they're looking for a dead Messiah, a dead follower or a dead Jew that they followed as a, a faith healer, a, a, a liberator, a, a, a man of good deeds. They've come to pay last respects. They came to anoint a dead man. What they found was nothing. Jesus was not there. And the angels, I love what Matthew's account of this says. The angels said, why are you seeking the living among the dead? Let me ask you about your dreams. Let me ask you about your hopes, your desires. What are you looking for? Are you seeking the living things among those things that have already died? Are you seeking dead things among those things that God wants to live? You see, God has the word here. God can change your life. He can change your direction. He can put you in different places. He can help you if you will take the initiative and follow the spirit of God. So the angel said, why do you seek the living among the dead? He's not here. He is risen as he said to you. Now, let me ask you this question. What's God said to you that he promised that he would do? 
What's God said to you that he promised he would keep his word? And because it looks dismal or dead or discouraging, you've given up. But I want you to be of good cheer today because Jesus got up. And Jesus got up so that you could get up. And the victory is ours in Jesus Christ. What a joy. What a powerful victory that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, whatever you're looking at today, whatever you're facing today, it could be dead dreams or it could be hopes that you're hoping that God will resurrect. Whatever it may be, follow God and he'll direct your path. Don't let anything get you off course. Hear me now. Don't let anything get you off course of what Jesus told you he would do for you. Now, he'll do the best. When the disciples, when the, the, the crowd saw Jesus hanging on the cross, he was dead. And that would be a deterrent for most people. But when they remembered what he had said, well, he's very much alive. And maybe today you're facing some dead dreams. I want to give you some hope today. There is a living Messiah waiting to instruct your next move. If you, well, if you follow him, and God will bless you for it. God bless you. We love you, and goodbye.